Rodney, I'm not sure that was the reaction you were looking after last week's result against Glenavon. No, it's hard to put your finger on it. Um, you look at the last two performances. The last two performances have been way off the mark. Today was awful. Um, but that's maybe being a little bit disrespectful to Glen Torn. I thought Glen, Glen Torn have, have pl good players in every position throughout the squad. Um, today they showed that. But I felt we contributed towards it because we allowed them to be. Um, we didn't get in their face. We didn't work hard enough. We didnn't do all the basics right. Um, we we were lethargic. Our body language was poor the day, and that's that's the biggest frustrating thing for me. Um, whenever I look at our performance here a short while ago at home to Cliftonville, which was up and at it, um, playing the front foot, defending the front foot, attacking the front foot, all those things, um, till what the performance was the day it was. To say it's hard to put your finger on it. Um, we've went we've went from a group of lads who look as if they've really enjoyed their football till in the space of two performances we we, we know we have to improve. I, I think we did know that Glen Torn were coming here with a point to prove today with the new manager, so to speak, under the belt. Yeah, and Greggy probably gives them a little bit of freedom to go and play. Um, whenever you have a, a, a group of players like that it it's it's Obviously, uh, you, you want to allow them to do that, and, and they have delivered for him. I, I was, I know, it's not, I wish we weren't all the best. Um, a, a great fella, the, the times that I've met him, but I know the relationship that the players have with Greggy as well, and Greggy's well thought of, he's well liked, um, and they certainly responded to him the day. And I, I was a wee bit disappointed whenever I seen that he was going to be in charge for the day because I knew that they would get a response. Um, it's difficult as you said to pinpoint what's actually going wrong we never got a goal today we didn't get any goals mm. last week um, We've cr we're creating chances um, today in the first half we, as bad as we were in the first half we had, we had two great opportunities to score Joe Moore's pulled a good save out of Aaron McCary in, in the second half Joe Moore's a couple of other opportunities as well um, <coughs> so as bad as what we were we should have scored we should have scored a goal at least today um, we haven't uh, and we suffered we, we gave a penalty kick away early on so we're fighting an uphill battle for that. Um, you introduced a new player to the team today. Yeah, Andrew Barman has has appeared. He, he actually was overstaying along with Joe Moore, but it wasn't Joe Moore who actually recommended him. Um, it was an agent that got on to us and said that he was interested. So we we said we'd bring him in and have a look, and, and we like what we see. Um, we thought it, we th we think he's done really well in the three training sessions he's been involved in. Um, we wanted to have a, a better look at him, and he wants to have a better look at us. So. It made sense for us to, to sign him to the end of the season and, and, and listen, hopefully he, he turns in the performances that we'll, we'll be looking him to sign a new contract to ASAP. And for those who don't know anything about him, where has he come from? He, his last club was Michigan Stars. Um, he played along with Joe at Cowdenbeath. Um, he was also at Airdrie in Scotland. Uh, so he's good pedigree. He was, he was involved in the Rangers Academy. Um, unfortunately, I think COVID come around at that stage. and and maybe prevented him from going any further. Um, so he, he's good credentials, he's a good shape, he's a good size, he's a good footballer, he's an eye for goal. Um, so hopefully he can do well for us. OK, and of course looking ahead to next week, one game before the split, we're away to Coleraine. Yeah, which is obviously Coleraine still trying to secure their top six place. Um, we have to try and get, we have to focus on ourselves. It's for us next week. It's not about any other club. It's it's about Dungan and Swifts, and it's about us as a changing room, and it's about us as a group of staff and group of players, all pulling together to try and to try and turn two poor performances around and and get back to what we were doing before that. Yep. Thank you, Ron. Thanks, sir.